Slide on the pimp game with my pinky ring. A lot of game, a lot of pictures in the ice chain. How you clean that you race with some ice cream? Don't be straight to the whip, no back and clean. Call me out of the house, Taylor. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for laying. I'll be rocking this track. 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 I'll be this video is going to be for those who are pure at heart. The true people that got loyalty that is trying to raise their, their consciousness to royalty. See, from loyalty brings royalty. And that's just how it is. You see, it goes down like this. Some people say get down and lay down. But I say, if you want to be down, don't try to get down on Because if you try to get down on you can't get down See, that's a part of the law. See, get down and lay down. To be down with me, you got to be loyal to the part of the team. The team is great. For the uplift and the fall of humanity. Upright, independent, and fearless. See, one thing we do. We communicate to the wise for our own improvement. But one thing we do, we deal with ignorant people and we communicate them with them for our own instruction. See, they tell you what not to do and what to do. Sometimes you have to not just put yourself in conflict. You know, I mean, put yourself in situations where they're combative and stressful. Avoid stressful and combative situations because they are very toxic and it'll drain that energy. See, some of us vibrate on high and when that negative energy comes around you, it's just to try to slow you down and to bring you slower. And see, in that slowness, it brings sickness. To get out of that sickness, you got to raise your, raise your consciousness to a higher level, to that spiritual realm. Because that devil is trying to pull you down. So, raise in thought. And stay in spirit. And stay in that loving spirit. Because remember, your thoughts is the cause of it all. Action you shall receive. Seeking you shall receive. You shall find. And the only thing I thought was worthy of me asking for is eternal life and eternal happiness. See, some people ask for material things. But give me eternal life. And give me eternal happiness. But get down or lay down. But if you gonna be down, don't try to get down on me. You feel me? Be down with me, don't get down on me. The eyes is the window to the soul. And that third eye consciousness, you know, breathing in through that Englanati and that Penglanati at the same time, bringing that energy straight up your Shishuma, opening up the full consciousness of your brain is a deep thing. See, that's when you can see the all of all and know that you are part of everything that is, was, and evermore will be. Because I've seen that in you because you've seen it in me. I'm on. Somebody out there is going through some things and they're losing hope. Because for some of you, the messages resonate because God has already brought you out of these cycles and he's delivered you and now blessings are coming in. But for some of you, you still yet are learning lessons. And you're still in these cycles. So you're hearing what God has for you. You're hearing that something big is coming, but you're not seeing it manifest in your life. And see, this is why he's saying, don't give up hope because I'm with you. And where you're weak, I will strengthen you. And where you are unable to move and complete something, I will help you. I will guide you. If you come to me and you ask me, I will give you the answer. Hmm? Knock and the door shall be open. A lot of you guys are not having that willpower to get up every day and still believe even though you're not seeing. A lot of you are not having that faith to get up and take a leap. Some of you have to get out of your current situation so God can give you the blessing. Where you are right now, you think that it's the blessing, but it's keeping you stagnant. It's a hindrance. And see, oh my God. You're thinking that it's a blessing. I don't care if it's a job. I don't care if, if, it's, if it's clientele. I don't care what it is that came in your life. This is not meant to be long term. God is trying to move you to something bigger, to something greater in your life. 
And a lot of you guys are getting in your own way because you're trapped in your mind. You're trapped in your mind. You're trapped in your mind because you're not seeing. You're trapped in your mind because you want a certain outcome that you're not getting. You're trapped in your mind because you're losing hope. You're trapped in your mind because you want what you want and you don't understand that God will give it to you when it's the right time. Where you are right now is something that you have to give up. It's something that you have to back away from. And it's hard for you because it's hard. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say and I'm going to resonate with you. I'm going to come on your level. I know that it's hard because a lot of you have kids. Some of you, you know, you, 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 you have kids, you have responsibilities. It could be backing away from a job. It could be getting out of your current living situation. It could be backing out of a relationship. But if you want what God has for you, you have to make sacrifices and you have to be obedient as unto him some people like i said you don't understand and you're growing weary because god is right there waiting to give it to you but he has to wait until you do what he tells you to do and you make that step you're not making the step and so this is why he's telling you do not fear where it is, wherever it is, and, 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 and however he's trying to manifest and bring these blessings into your life, you're being fearful. You're fearing the unknown because to fear the unknown and to step into the unknown means you have to relinquish full control and trust that God is going to do for you what he said he's going to do for you. But you don't understand. As soon as you make that step, the blessings is going to be an overflow, an overflow, an overflow of blessings. Right when you make that step, it's going to come in like a whirlwind because you did what he told you to do. You did what he told you to do. You moved when he told you to move. Some of you are listening, but you're not really taking heed to the message. You're not really listening. You're not taking heed to the warning. You're not you're not listening to what it is that God is, is, is saying and, and how he's speaking to you. You're listening, but you're not taking it in. You're, 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 you're listening, you're reading, but you're not applying it to your life. Likewise, it's like you're losing hope because you're not believing and trusting in him. And this is why he's saying, do not fear for I'm with you. All you have to do is take that leap. You may have a situation where you got to leave an apartment. And as, as soon as you leave that apartment situation, wherever it is that you are, God will bless you with a house. As soon as you sit here and you back up from that job, God will give you an overflow of, of whatever it is that you need to support and grow your business. Maybe he's trying to lead you to be more independent. Or maybe he's trying to lead you and put you in a better situation financially. But whatever it is, you are keeping yourself stuck. Because you've been let down so many times in the past, you it's hard for you to relinquish control. But see, when it comes to God, you ain't going to have no choice. Because if you want whatever it is that you want and you're praying to him for, he has his demands as well. That's how this go. If you ask him for something and you think that it's not going to come with a share of sacrifices, you are fooling yourself. It takes sacrifices to be on this path. It takes great willpower to ask him for help, to ask him for strength where you're weak. To give, to ask him for the answers that you do not have for yourself because you're so used to finding everything and doing everything on your own and making it happen. It's hard for you to just back up and let somebody just take in, comfort you, and take you to where you need to be. It's hard for you to let someone else look after you. It's hard for you to let someone else make the moves for you. But if you say that you believe, and you know that you're a child of God, then you know that at the end of the day, that's something that you have to work on because what you're asking him for, he's trying to give it to you. But you're fearing the unknown and it's stopping you from taking that leap of faith because you don't know what's going to happen once you make that choice, but I'm telling you what's going to happen. He is, he's always been there with you and exactly what you've asked him for, he's going to give it to you and he's going to uphold you. He's never going to let his enemies have their way with you. So you have to stop fearing. You have to stop giving in to your current situation where you are right now and feeling like there's no hope. Cause the sun will shine and you will be okay.
the sun will shine. There is, listen, God is trying to lead you to greener pastures. You don't want that for yourself? A land overflowing with milk and honey? You're deserving of that. Don't you want that? Don't you want everything that you've been praying to him for? Even if it's just get off the monetary gains. Get off the things of that, that, that are tangible. Do you understand what I'm saying? Peace, inner peace. I keep trying to tell you, a lot of you guys, um, I had a conversation the other day, and also today, circling back around, when you see someone living in riches and successes in their life, you don't even understand that these people are normal just like us. They hide what they're going through. They hide how they truly feel. They hide that void that's deep down dwelling within them that they're trying to feel, but they don't understand that once they back away from these things and they choose to give their life unto God, that there's a greater sense of fulfillment that they will receive, that he will give them, that they weren't able to find trying to attain this on their own. A lot of people ain't going to show you when they lacking. They ain't going to show you when they struggling. And they're not supposed to. Just like I tell you, never let nobody see you sweat. But at the same time, you have to understand that where you are right now, you're asking him for riches and all this stuff. You understand when you get there, you may feel like it's not even enough. Because the devil wants you to be a slave to the dollar. He wants you to be trapped in your mind and thinking that you have to do all this to make money and take money to live and take this and take this and take that. But see, the, the, the fulfillment comes when you can lose all that and not have that and be poor when it comes to things of the world. But you're rich in spirit. You're rich inwardly because the person that I can respect, a person that is truly rich and successful is a person who can walk throughout life, hold their head up high and know that they may not have $15 million. They may not even have $1,000 in the bank. But if God called them to come home that day, they'd be at peace. And they'll say, you know what? I've done everything that I set out to do. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about fame. It wasn't about success. It was about finding myself and getting on my purpose and being able to contribute back to someone else's life, being able to give back in some type of capacity, being able to have that fulfillment, that self-fulfillment within myself that I know and I found myself for who I truly was. I went out being a real one and not being fake and not giving in to things of the world. I found myself. I found who I was. I found what I was supposed to be doing and I did it. I can go knowing that I did what I was supposed to do. Not feeling like, because at the end of the day, you can't bring that money with you. You can't bring that fame and that fortune, whatever it is that you're asking for right now. God is going to give it to you, but he's trying to get you to see the bigger picture outside of that to find yourself. And that anything else that he brings is a plus, it's a bonus. It ain't something that you was living for. It ain't something that you was trying to die for. It ain't something that you was willing to sell your soul for. Because what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? 